Hi everybody, good day to you. Uh, the shop's pretty full right now, so I'm just kind of nosing this one in. Uh, the customer brought it to us this morning. Uh, they said sometimes the key uh, gets stuck in the ignition and does not come out. Um, unfortunately, right now it is not stuck and it does come out. I, I didn't catch it on camera when I first hopped into this car, but it indeed was stuck. Uh, what I ended up doing was cycling it through the gear position and making sure it had a good solid seat in the park position. And then all of a sudden the lock released and she came right out. Um, I know they have been having this problem because I found some uh, Lock Ease product, Lock Fluid. Never seen this before, but uh, it appears they tried to solve the issue with some spray. Yes, it does still appear to be working as designed right now. Um, however, I'm noticing that the keys on this bad boy are quite worn down. They gave me two keys to tinker with and both of them are, they're worn pretty severely. And I found that if I put it like in drive, for example, I can still remove those keys. Uh, what I wanna do is uh, get another set of keys cut for this and see how well this thing operates with a, a known good and accurately cut, not worn away set of keys. Okie dokes, uh, switching gears a little bit. Uh, we found that replacing the key, both keys and the ignition tumbler is less costly than replacing or having two new keys made. So we have ordered a replacement tumbler with two new keys. Uh, the downside to this operation is the customer is gonna have two keys for this to operate the locks. Uh, one set of keys will be for the doors and the other set of keys will be for the ignition. Okay, before I get started with uh, taking this thing apart, I'm gonna move it over to an actual stall. That way I'm not half in and out of the shop. Just in case uh, something goes south here, I don't wanna have us stuck with a car that we can't move and doors that I can't close tonight. Or they say, uh, plan for the worst and hope for the best. Am I gonna make it? Yep, I'm gonna make it. Do not hit the wall. There we go. All right. Now, I, uh, I do not believe I've ever done this particular job before, but I'm certain that this panel has to come off. And it looks like it's held on with uh, some 10 millimeter bolts and a, a couple Phillips screws. So let me pull those guys out real quick. And we'll gain some access to under the dash. One screw right over here. I must not neglect to remember that one. No doubt uh, you guys must have noticed that my voice is a bit hoarse today. I believe I had some kind of a cold over the weekend. It's still lingering, uh, not Rona. There's that screw. which had caused me to snore last night in my sleep and my throat was a bit sore. So I just kind of have to live with that for now. There's a, what is this? Some kind of interlock device or maybe a security system. See how these wires are tapped into the primary wiring harnesses. That's, that's a little odd. Uh, I'm gonna try to not mess with that. So anyway, now that we've got some access to this tumbler what we're looking for is a place to depress the tab that secures the tumbler to to its housing let's pop this guy out a little bezel trim piece right there uh, it kind of wants to tear I don't want to I don't want to break that maybe I'll get that later I'll leave that for last anyway see that little hole right there I believe that if I were to turn the, the cylinder with the key, it will, it will allow me to press up on that little tab that 
locks in that hole, that pin that's in there. And uh, that should free the cylinder from its housing. Okay, let's key this on to position one. And I can feel that, that pin depress now. And it should just come right out. I'll pull the whole cylinder out with the key. I think it's coming. I know those ding dings are just as annoying to me as they are to you guys. My, apologi my apologies for the dingy dings, but here she comes. Okay. And there is our old lock cylinder. You can see the little pin right there. Now that will not release unless the key is, or the key and the tumbler have turned into like position one or position two. If it's in the lock position, then uh, there's a, um, a keyway or a tumbler that, uh, that falls into place and blocks this from being depressed. Okay, so with the new tumbler in hand, I'm gonna rotate this into position one. If it's gonna turn, there we go. And position one will allow this uh, pin to depress. See right now it's locked turn to position one and now it's unlocked. This will allow me to place the tumbler in position and uh, nearly complete the job. There's another, another pin up there. I'm having a hard time depressing that one. I may have to pull this panel out. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's try again. Whoa. Yes, sir. There's those ding dings again. goes it's getting a little hung up on this trim piece here the trim is not exactly centered there we go okay let's give it a start and see if this is a it's gonna work success yeah, oddly enough, this uh, this tumbler assembly is off center. We can see the witness marks where this grommet was riding, and it's there's no dust at the top and a whole bunch at the bottom. Kind of odd, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, that feels good. Everything's clicked into its home. It's a little, still a little offset. It's not what I'd like to see, but this grommet is also kind of torn. We'll have to order a new one of these. I don't, I just don't like how this fits. I can see light through the bottom of it. Either way, that's an easy part to change without disassembly. So I'm gonna put all this back together. I must say, Toyota was very considerate with this dash. And I mean that. It, uh, it comes apart and goes together very easily. Spoke too soon. Click.
Okay, let's give it one more check for functionality. Park. Comes right out. Beautiful. Alrighty, sticking key and the ignition problem solved. Okay, we're all done here with this one. Um, it lives. Good. It is, uh, as much as it pains me to operate my vocal cords, at this time I would like to communicate to all of you that I much appreciate you watching this video, and I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, the only thing I would ask of you in exchange for the free content is that you reach down and tap tap that thumbs up button. That button is what lets me and YouTube know that I've done a good job. And if YouTube thinks I've done a good job, it's far more likely to recommend my content to other potential viewers. Drive. All that being said, the only thing left here is for me to not forget, to remind you guys to not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Oh, and by the way, they do not want me to look into that check engine light right there. Uh, I brought that up already. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Toyota powering down. Boom. Ow, oh, that hurt. All right. See you later, Toyota Taco.